teams. They're both siding out pretty well, but when Bulgaria gets the opportunity, they've got Lubo out of the backcourt. They make the big play on time. From the San Diego Sports Arena here in San Diego, California, we are getting ready for World League Volleyball. Tonight, Bulgaria collides with the United States. Hello again, everybody, and welcome. I'm Chris Marlowe. Right now, the United States is in a terrible slump. The Americans have lost seven straight matches, 21 games in a row, and perhaps more importantly, three in a row to Bulgaria. What does a losing streak get you in World League pool play? The United States is at the bottom. Brazil is in first, Bulgaria, Greece, and the Americans are 0 and 7. Happy to have working with me, of course, Paul Sunderland, the San Diego-based United States men's volleyball team. If they keep playing like this, it's going to overshadow the San Diego Padres. Let me take the pressure off the Padres. <laughs> well, it's a sad state of affairs, unfortunately so, but the United States team has been in a rebuilding phase the last couple of years, pointing towards 96 in the Atlanta Olympics. Olympics, but you need all your horses in order to get that done. Jeff Nygaard, All-American at UCLA, should be here. He can't. Bob Stavertlik wants to play. We'll see, we'll see what happens with him. You've got Jeff Stork and, of course, Scott Fortune, who would also be in this lineup under better, better circumstances. And add to that an unbelievable streak of injuries that have befallen this team. And you have a group that is continuing to struggle. I mean, call out the medic. Look at Bob Samuelson, a key on this team in 1992. He is out. Brian Ivey has been hitting a lot of balls, doing a lot of work his knees are sore Brent Hilliard out for almost a year finally underwent surgery Ken Lynch got hit by a skateboarder Dan Landry's got tendonitis in his knee I mean this is a team that's trying to get better obviously not having any success of late but then hit with all these unfortunate injuries as well you know the United States is still mathematically alive but the Americans playing for pride and perhaps a share of the money over six million dollars in World League money to be divided up well the World League is now the third most prestigious crown to be won in the world of volleyball and there's the reason why that's just the money available for placings in your preliminary pool the top two teams in the first three groups of four advance into the finals and then the money gets very very serious first place money a million dollars and then on down as you said Chris a total of over six million dollars at hand and that's a great competition this is really where the future of volleyball lies big cash payments like this and the way it looks right now, Bulgaria is going to get a big piece of that money, $1 million perhaps. Could they get to the championship final? This is a big, strong team that's improved. Well, they have improved so much. I mean, they got a couple of players, particularly Lubo Ganev and his partner, Dimo Tonev, out of the middle. And they're big, strong, experienced players. Dimo Tonev played all the way back in the World Championships in 86 when the Bulgarians were third. But what they give the Bulgarians is the key big attacker or blocker that makes the plays at the important time times in matches. You need a big swing, you need an important jump serve, you need a block. Those are the two players that deliver for Bulgaria. What about the United States? We know the Americans are struggling. The United States' best player is Brian Ivey. Some said, hey, he's going to be a Karch Karai type. Do you think he's been overrated or has it been injuries with him? No, no, I don't think Brian Ivey is overrated and he's not a Karch Karai type. Very different kind of player. He's had a phenomenal career, albeit four or five years so far for the United States, but I think he needs to ask to carry a bigger load and for it to be given to him. Brian Ivey is a prestigious player and he's got a big reputation and I don't think right now he's enjoying playing for this United States team that is no longer among the best in the world but he's got to take that responsibility on his shoulder at the best American player right now and say okay follow me he's capable of getting the job done. That's game one Paul. Well, Bulgaria leading just marginally in the offensive category, blocking, doubling up. Look at the defense for Bulgaria. This is a team that's known for hitting and blocking. They outdig the United States by five. That's just effort right there, hitting errors. Average 10 a game against Bulgaria in the first match of this two-match series here in the States. Nine in the first game here for the United States. That's way too many. Rico, game one stats. The name to know is Rico. Oh, oh, oh. Jason Stimfig is coming into the match. Number 13 out of Long Beach State. It'll be very interesting to see how he can play. He's short, 
He's six feet, 160 pounds, grew up in Manhattan Beach, California, but he can set the ball perhaps as well as anybody in the United States. Good setter out of Long Beach State. Outside, outside. But we'll just have to wait and see. It's a little, this is a little different situation from Long Beach State. I think it's a good idea. Why do try something different? I, I, the, the United States is dead in the water. After game one, yeah. uh, you can see the players sort of bickering among one another and everybody's saying, let's do this, let's do that. And, and I think you've got to do something as a coaching staff, and Fred Sturm has done it here, made a move to try to change the field, try to change the chemistry a little bit, try to get things going. On the combination play, Stimfig with the set. Also, when you change the setter, all the other players will rally right. to try to help him. At least for a while. Yeah, particularly when it's a young, inexperienced player like Jason Stimfig, who's very competitive and also a quality player. So they'll try to help him out, and it'll hopefully up their concentration and effort a little bit. Blocked by the United States. So the Long Beach State front line, Brent Hilliard and Brent Winslow, who's also in now, the 49er block. On night and off, on the outside. One to nothing, United States leads. Blackman survey, ace! Duncan Blackman, the Americans' best server right now, particularly with all the injuries that other players have had to deal with, and he's ru ripping middle, going for Tonev. Another high spinner. On the fly, a little off speed. Stimfig. And it's out of bounds. One thing uh, Bulgaria will have to get used to, as does the Americans, is the tempo. Siggy's tempo is going to be a lot different than Greenbaum. He's got a different kind of a touch. Well, but I like right away that he chose to set the ball quick in transition right there. I don't think the United States has yet to set the ball in the middle nearly enough. That's a beautiful set to Cameron. One thing I, I can attest to, talking about Stimfig, you have to get used to where you are because Stimfig hasn't played very much especially in worldly competition, or any kind of competition on the national team. Poked up, Figgy with a back set, Hilliard, score! Boy, they did that together for a long time at Cal State Long Beach. Won a national championship there together. The roll shot. Lubo with no chance. The jump serve is out of bounds, so Bulgaria will have it. Bulgaria won game one. This is game two, three to nothing. The United States off to a quick start. However, Bulgaria scores very well in this rotation with Lubo Ganev serving. He is crushing it. Stimfig tries to dink. Bulgarian's right on top of it. Lubo puts it away. And he whoops it up. I guess the Americans have said something to Lubo. Watch him talk a little trash here, Paul. He must like what's on the after now, match. What kind of finger is that? Is that the index or the forefinger? It's the it's the right one, not the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Lubo just whooping it up. That's not, right. Not signaling That's anything. Right. Yeah. A happy finger. Here's Lubo. Wow. Ace for Lubo, and he does it again. Yeah. He wants to have an early night. He is whooping. He's having a great time. He performs extremely well. Look at the heat that he brings. He's really hitting it now. Here he comes. Three to two, United States. Stimfik quick set, and it's out of bounds. Stimfik trying to get the ball in the middle to Winslow. His toss is so perfect, the big run up, but he's tossing the ball yeah. perfectly every time. And he throws it with a little forward momentum. Now he spins it out of the back line. Hilliard, and Hilliard puts it away. 3-3 three, three in game two. We will be picking a Bud Light player of the match a little later. Fred Sturm hoping one of the American players will be the Bud Light player of the match tonight. Last time these two teams played, Lou Boganif was the Bud Light MVP and straight down the hatch, good shot. That's one problem Jason Stimpig will have at the net blocking. Well, and the Bulgarian coaches will say, look, you know the new guy that's in the match, number 13, set the ball over him. Quick set, there is the combination, Winslow and Stimfig. NCAA title for Long Beach back in 1991. What a great 49er team that was. Ivy stuffs one. Don't try to turn it low cross court on Poison for his third stuff block. Just denies that right away. Dan Greenbaum, 
not in the game right now with the towel over his shoulders. Jason Stimfake doing the setting duties. Here comes Lubo Ganev. He's blocked. They go to Ganev again. Got to move the block in. Ganev blocked and down. The Americans get another point. I saw that kind of set out of transition that Ganev is going cross court. The United States stopped him. So a little life for the Americans. Going to Ganev once again. You know where it's going. And watch this. He's hitting the ball into the cross court. And here just a little confusion whether the ball was in or out. And the Bulgarians pay for the mistake. First time out. The Americans lead here in game two, 5-3. This year at Six Flags. Into the match as a setter, talking to assistant coach Rod Wild, who was a great setter in his time at Pepperdine for the national team. Stimfix sets a very hittable ball. Explain. Well, some setters just have great touch, and the ball just stays in a hitting zone for what seems like yeah. a long time, and you have all the choices of where to hit the ball, and it's not something you can measure. It's just that kind of touch. The United States can get another point right here. Five to three, looking to go to six to three. Stimfig, Ivy, yes, and the entire difference has been Stimfig setting the quick set. Different look for Bulgaria. They've got to turn it up a little bit, focus in on what Stimfig brings, which is aggressive setting, setting the ball into the middle. And Winslow putting on a little pressure with his serve. Six to three, the Americans lead. And another block. Stimfig, little figgy was there. He got his little fig above the net. Fifth Ni block for the Americans. Nidenoff hits this ball low, and Figgy is right there on him. They got to go back to uh, Stimfig's area. Nope, they go to Ganev, and the Americans are starting to block him. Ivy, back set. Blackman, big play. Not yet. Bulgaria, whip it to Lubo. is too low, but he's still got it through. I think the poles that hold up the net just sort of bent as he hammered the ball into the top of the tape. So Lubo, let's check his uh, numbers out. He's got eight kills, a block, and two aces. Here's his buddy Demo Tonev. United States leading here in game two and playing very well. Quick set, again, Ivy. Got to set the ball quick. We've been talking about it for both matches between Bulgaria and the United States. When the ball's passed well, you have to establish that you can set the ball quickly in the middle, get your share of kills there, and then spread the offense. Pretty good pass there. Even off. Hooked up. Stimfig. Scoop it to Cameron. 7-3 United States leads. Chance for an American point. Stimfig. Ivy again. Going quick again. And Brian Ivy, you got to feed him. You jump all those times in the middle and never get the ball. And as much as you're telling yourself you want to get there, look at Ivy. Out of the play from the right front comes all the way in and makes himself available. Substitution coming in, Ivalo Stefanov, 6'7", a 20-year-old out of Sofia, Bulgaria. Kloblevsky in Sofia, big, strong hitter. Let's see if they set him. There he goes, and he puts it away. Bulgaria comes off the bench swinging. Stefanov, number 13, white. And now Bulgaria will have the ball. Game two, the United States leads by five. Now even off will serve. Good pass. Winslow puts it away. Brett Winslow off speed out of the pipe zone. Kind of tricky to dink there. Oh, wait a second. They're going to call him under the net. Winslow with a little roll shot right here does come under. You can see him violating the center line right there. But if the ball is ruled down, the ball still goes over to the United States. So that should have been a point for Bulgaria. And Brent Hilliard, he loves hitting Stimfix sets. However, that one travels a little bit long. And now it is eight to five. Brunko Gavrilov, his team has beaten the United States three matches in a row. Two in Bulgaria, one here in San Diego. And I'll tell you, the United States is passing well enough tonight to be very competitive for a long time. They're going to get their blocking, transition, scoring game a little bit to get more together. They can beat this team. Six of 12 players. Half the Bulgarians are married, in case you're wondering. A serve. Number seven, Nikolai Jalaskov. Plays his club ball in Bologna, Italy. 
Cameron, the ball just rose on Cameron. He got stuck there a little bit with the floater. Very tough serve. Working him short this time. Stimfig, Bulgaria has it. 8-6, Bulgaria blocked back. Cameron was there for a moment. Deep, here comes Figgy. He's got it up. Cameron to save a point. Not yet. Oh, it drops. And Jalaskov screaming at Stefanov. Shoots one through. So Lubo now with nine kills. And Bulgaria slowly creeping back. Stimfig to Hilliard. And Hilliard is blocked. Good play by number 13 white, Ivalo Stefanov. The United States has to dig in right here, pass the ball well. You've got Ivy available in the left front. Bad pass. Stimpik jams it long. And the ball spiked out of bounds. That's one of the disadvantages of having Stimpik in there. As a six-foot setter, he cannot get up for the high pass. Very hard for him to challenge the kind of height that Bulgaria has on the tight pass. A lot of times you get up there and intercept it if you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, setter. Should be a point. the offense. No, not yet. Good dig. <laughs> Beautiful up by Ivy, and Cameron hits it into the middle of the net. So a hitting error for Dwayne Cameron, and Bulgaria will have it. How popular is volleyball in Bulgaria? Soccer is the number one sport, and then it's split between basketball and volleyball, 2A and 2B, both very, very popular. Back set, Ivy, great cover. Blackman was there, Ivy again. Hilliard is there, Ivy again. And he puts it away. The Paul Sunderland theory of feed the big man is working. Well, but they're also moving Brian Ivey around. They're moving him, at, having him hit on the left side, having him hit on the right side, so that if the pass is bad, he's still available as an attacker and not just a spectator if he's only hitting quick. Jason Stimfick to serve from deep. It's 8-7, to seven, United States. And it's off Winslow. Winslow is very, very intense, number 17 blue. A great defensive player, too. Maybe one of the best big defensive players the United States has. Got the knuckler up there, just yeah. couldn't control it. Serving as Ivanov, the setter. And the United States starting to shank the ball around. Blackman, good hit. Boy, that is a good swing. And I'll tell you, the two passers for the United States, Dwayne Cameron and Duncan Blackman, they got to talk to each other a little bit right here because they've miscommunicated on the last couple of side-out opportunities. And this is indeed the crucial juncture in the match. Crucial, especially for the United States. Blocked! Cameron was there to stuff Lubo. Lubo got a tune-up at the net. <laughs> Three blockers all over it. He's not getting up as well as we have seen him. There was a momentary uh, yellow card is awarded to Bulgaria for perhaps an incorrect substitution. The coach, Brunko Gavrilov, trying to get his son into the game for the big star, Lubo Ganev. One more point and he'll be in. Winslow had the dig. Cameron for a point. Got it! Snuck it through, found the low seam, sizzling pits. And timeout called by Bulgaria. Dwayne Cameron hit a rocket. Again, Brett Winslow playing very, very good defense. And Cameron ripping underneath the block. United States leading here in game two by three. One of the coaches in, Ivalo Gravilo, number 14, as Bulgaria hits another ball out of bounds in the United States. Has 11 now. Ivy continues to serve. Game two, Bulgaria won the first. X play and Stefanov crushes it. So the big man, Ganev, is on the bench, maybe tiring just a bit. The big young kid, 23-year-old Ivalo Gravilov, the son of the coach is in there. Talk about more on him in a second. Stimfig. It's the problems you talked about in terms of being a smaller setter. Blackman. 
with the block. Nice play. Crummy set by Ivanov for Bulgaria. Point scoring opportunity just trapped his outside hitter Nidenov. And another substitution coming in now. Dimitir Bozilov, 6 2 out of Sofia, Bulgaria. And he is the backup setter. So Ivanov goes out. So head coach for Bulgaria rotating. Many players in now trying to find the right combination. Bozilov, left side. And another hitting error for Bulgaria. The United States, 12, Bulgaria, 7. Big letdown for Bulgaria in game two. Had won three matches in a row over the United States. Maybe thought this one was going to be easy as well. Bozilov, back set. And the first spike for Ivailo Gravilov. He puts it away, Gravilov. It's out of bounds, a point. Cameron and Blackman, it's in their hands right now. They've got to pass the ball well. The United States up by four in game two. Got to dig in right here past the floater. Pretty good pass. Stimfig back set all the way to Hilliard, who puts it down. So here comes Eric Sato. Sato will come in for Hilliard. If Hilliard was healthy, he'd stay. Yeah, he'd stay in to jump serve, but Hilliard's not, so Sato comes in to serve and play defense. Now the question is, can Sir Sato rip it? Or does he go with a lollipop right off the bat? Medium hard, Bozilov, and the Americans can't come up with it. So Gravilov will serve. I asked his father, how good is your son as a player? And he said, very good. The pear does not roll far from the tree. The old Bulgarian saying. Problem is he plays behind Lubo. So he doesn't get much playing time. Ivy. Gravilov. And Gravilov puts it away. He can hit the D just like his father taught him. And for Dimo Tonev for Bulgaria to assert himself a little bit. He's been very, very quiet. Watch for him to really block a couple of balls here. Middle blocker, all world for Bulgaria. The United States is starting to shank right now. Ivy out of the back line. Did he get a touch? No. And here comes Bulgaria. The Americans looking up at the scoreboard. And a good timeout called by head coach Fred Sturm. Game two, United States hanging on by a couple. The San Diego Sports Arena, San Diego, California, Bulgaria in the United States. Bulgaria won game one, United States leading here in game two, but Bulgaria is coming on. Second unit in for Bulgaria, and they have staged a rally. Whip it over to Kravilov. Blackman pokes it up. Americans keep it in play. Tonev out of the middle for a scoring point. Dimo Tonev out of the middle. The Americans a little bit tentative right now, passing the volleyball. Brent Hilliard coming back in. Fred Sturm really just trying to slow things down a little bit with the substitution. Got to pass the ball well. Watch for Winslow out of the middle hitting quick. Americans trying to break a 22-game losing streak in this one. Hilliard blocked. <laughs> Bulgaria very, very strong at the net. It is now 12-12. Cameron. Big play here. Americans need a kill. Hilliard. Off speed. Score it. A side out. Much needed. Bulgarians all over the place. Roll shot once again, and I'll tell you, Stimfig likes to go to his old collegiate teammate, Brent Hilliard, and with good reason. Dwayne Cameron serving. Gravilov hit it out. Americans getting a lot of points on Bulgarian hitting errors. And timeout by Bulgaria. We're coming back. The Americans just two points away from victory here in game two. Fans enthusiastic. Americans playing very well here in game two and have a 13 to 12 lead on Bulgaria. Chance for the Americans to go to 14. Ivy, yes! <laughs> Ivy over the top and now it's some of the Bulgarian subs that are starting to shank a little bit. 
game point for the United States, something they have not had for a long, long time. Nightin Nightinoff comes back in. The United States ready to break the streak right now. 22 games in a row the American men have lost. First game point. The Americans will get a swing. They go to Ivy, and he puts it away. That ugly 22-game streak is finally over for Fred Sturm. A piece of history that the USA volleyball team will be certainly glad to put to rest and move off from this. They got a chance to win this match now. Hello, this is Rod Wild with the USA men's national team. We're going to have the champion tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about quick sets. We have two basic types of quick sets that we're going to be using, the tight quick and the wide quick. The tight quick can either be a front or a back one in which the hitter comes in, breaks off the setter, comes in tight to the setter, and the idea is that the hitter is going to be up in the air, elbow up, prepared before the ball is released by the setter. As the ball comes up, the setter is going to set it and the hitter will be making quick contact on it. The other set that we'll talk about is a 41 or a gap set. This set is used to make the middle blocker move along the net in order to stay with our quick. The ball should be set in an area between the right side blocker and the middle blocker so that the quick hitter is going to have an open area and force the blockers to be reaching into that area. The key to these sets is hours and hours of practice and just putting your time into the gym. There's a lot of timing involved, but just practice and practice it until you get good. The Rico copier and facts game stats. United States, a superior game, not only on the scoreboard, but ahead now in kills blocks. They were way behind after game one. They've moved ahead there. The United States doing a good job defensively. But look at the bottom, hitting errors. After game one, it was nine to six, nine for the United States. Bulgaria, 10 hitting errors. Balls just riveted out of bounds. That was the difference in the game. The Rico game stats, the name to know, of course, is Rico. Lubo Ganev, changing in public. What a sight. He's going to be on the bench at the start of game three. And so is Dimo Tonev, so a completely different lineup for Bulgaria. Ozunov is in, Peter Ozunov, number 10. Brian Ivey, of course, a big game three. He's really come on. So the Americans in blue, Bulgaria in white. Second setter is in. And the change made with the setter, Jason Stimfig. As Ozunov puts it away, number 10. I tell you, I'm really surprised that Bronko Gavrilov, the Bulgarian coach, made the number of changes that he did. This is a very important match for Bulgaria. Coming into this weekend, they were tied with Greece for second in Pool B behind Brazil, who was undefeated. The top two teams advance into the playoffs in Italy. We showed you at the beginning of the match the prize money that's involved in advancing. This is a must-win situation for Bulgaria because they play Greece next week in Bulgaria where they can wrap up the second position. So the Bulgarian coaches uh, wearing their gray shirts, a little concerned. Their team not playing quite as well. And Gravilov looking down the bench and telling Ganev and Tonev to loosen up. Nice serve. Three aces for Blackman. Yeah, Blackman's been serving well. Needs to solidify it, keep five, six, or seven in a row in the court. Nidenov with the blast. Ludmil Nidenov with his seventh kill. This is game three, and Bulgaria gets a block. Delaskov was there, Stimpik trying to keep his team going. Tied one game apiece. That roll shot is golden. It is just golden. We got some frozen Bulgarians Absolutely. on the side. Absolutely. There's some beautiful statues in Sofia, Bulgaria, where all the players are from, and you can just add that to it. They just standing around. A little monument defense on that play. 1-1, one, one, game three. Stoev blocked by Winslow. Bulgaria flat right now. Four starters, five, five sitting on the bench right now. A lot of 
hitting errors by both teams. You'd like to score your points if you can by earning them. Blocking, digging like that. Beautiful play by Jalaskoff. Hilliard blocked. Another big block by Bulgaria. That ball's got to come back up and Brian Ivey letting Dwayne Cameron know it. And I like it. This ball goes to the outside, looking at his options. Hilliard gets stuffed here. That ball should come up. American standing around. Whip it to Hilliard. And it's off Figgy's head, right in the middle of the play. Petr Ozunov. Timeout taken. World League action. We're coming back tied one game apiece. Bulgaria 5-2 in the third. To play so far made by number 12 of the United States, Dexter Rogers. First of all, comes in and serves the good jumper, stone cold. And in perfect position, defensively for the United States, Dexter Rogers comes out of nowhere and says, look, I got one oar down, I got the other one up out of the water. Great defensive work by Dexter Rogers. Banana boat defensive play for a fun tan, suntan, get on the boat. Back in San Diego, California, one of three cities uh, still in contention to be the home of the USA national teams. As that ball is blocked by Bulgaria, San Diego, Colorado Springs, Colorado, and Orlando, Florida, the three uh, uh, cities still remaining. A couple of cities were, and Bulgaria is all over the United States right now. Gavrilov a blocking. Gavrilov on the outside, putting Hilliard in the closet. And this is when Brent Hilliard hits the wall, so to speak, coming back after that year of rehabilitation. We saw him against Bulgaria in an earlier match, good for a couple of games, and then had to leave the match. Sorensen now, and Bulgaria into the net. This is game three, Bulgaria is up by five. And here is Brian Ivey. Out of the pipe zone, Jalaskov. There's a play we haven't seen much from Bulgaria. Low pipe set. And Bulgaria will have it. Well, with Lubo Ganev on the sidelines, who's primarily the backcourt hitter in many rotations, Bulgaria going to a little different system. Ivy, nice block by Stoev. And Stoev tries the Hilliard shot, it doesn't go. Cameron, the Americans have seen that one. Stoev. And he hit it out. Ogilov whip it to Stoev, and he had another one out. So Stoev does not look loose. He is not jumping like he did in the first match we saw, Paul. Yeah, we the Americans get a point. We thought that he was a talented yet pretty small package at only 6'2", 6'3". Came out, jump served, well played, good defense. Seemed like a very, very solid all-around player, but making some unforced errors as Bulgaria suffered through as well in game two. 1-1 one, one is our score. This is game three. Stimfig. And Sorensen is dug up. Americans confused. Stimfig. Great set. Nice set. Stimfig is there again. And the Americans are starting to slip and slide on the Terraflex. It's a great surface to play on as long as it's bone dry. But when there's moisture on this floor, and all these players are soaking wet. Stimfig getting down. And right now, he lays his own lake right there. And you see Cameron's left foot just because there were players going down over there as well. It's just one of the problems. Timeout for the Americans trailing eight to three here in game three. Bulgaria and the United States in World League play. Bulgaria has beaten the United States three matches in a row. The Americans playing their best match in over a month. Bulgarians with a dig, Stoev. Ivy is there. Sorensen. Not yet. Good dig by Gravilov. Oh, and he rockets it. It comes right back. Blackman with a dig. Gavirov. He's dug again. United States. Dink. Not yet. Stoev poked it up. Another dig by the Americans. Can they put it away? Yes! Brian Ivey putting on a show defensively and a very reminiscent 
of the Olympic Games. He's in the middle back, playing defense, slipped in a wet spot. That's what hurt his knee, but now showing you he's regained that mobility. Great in that rally defensively. The perfect pass. They whip it over to Stoev, and it's right through the hands of Winslow. So Martin Stoev will serve, voted the best junior player in the world in 1991. Most of these Bulgarian players played on very successful junior national teams. Put out the Stefanov. What a dig by, uh, was that Blackman? Yes, it was. Duncan Blackman got it up. Quick set. Another dig. Wow. Bulgaria teeing off, and the Americans, led by Duncan Blackman, playing some great defense. I'll tell you, the American block right now is non-existent <laughs> because the Bulgos are just ripping, yeah. but the backcourt defense has been exceptional, really, for both teams. That serve going long, 9-3, to three, Bulgaria leading the United States. Bad pass. That was a fabulous set by Dimitir Bozilov. He's just 6'2", but he really got up on the play. And they're going to call a violation on Bozilov, number 15. Got there and set the ball, but just brushed the net yeah. with his jersey. Cameron, did he block it? Yes, he did, but it's out of bounds. So Bulgaria will have it. Talk about the money for Bulgaria. If they win money in World League play, it's split up one-third to the Federation, two-thirds to the players and coaches. Kind of an interesting distribution. Left side, Stoev, and Blackman roofs him. That's bad set. Ball set way too close to the net. When you're a setter setting the ball from this deep in the court, 20 feet back, you got to give your hitter some room, and that's just way too close. You can see Stoev almost going under the net. The United States gets a point, and that ball out of bounds. So just for example, continuing with the money, if Bulgaria makes $500,000 in World League play, 160 goes to the Federation, the rest to the players and coaches. So players and coaches trying hard in World League. And it's into the net. So Sorensen, a little off on his hitting timing, timeout taken Bulgaria in the midst of game three leading 10-4 on prime World League action from San Diego. Bulgaria won game one, United States game two. Americans in the process broke a 22 game losing streak. This is game three. Bulgaria has gotten out to a big lead, 10 to four, why? Well, the United States reverting to the old problems that they've always had. Not making the big play when they need to and making a lot of unforced errors, hitting balls out of bounds. And the young Bulgarians, most of them second teamers in here, except for Jelesikov, the one starter who's still out on the court, have steadied out and are playing very well. United States gets a point set up by the serve. If you're wondering, can you double contact on the serve? Yeah, that hit Stefanov in the face. As long as it's one movement. There's another good serve and a slam dink by Winslow. Sorensen not with a lot of heat on his jumper right now, but the Bulgarians having their problems. United States creeping at 10-6. Good direction there. And another block, the Americans, and now, oh no! They called it going down the arms of the United States block. This ball is blocked straight down, but unfortunately, inside the United States, hands just not over the net. Gavrilov with the serve. Sorensen whacks it hard, his best kill of the night. A lot of setters are getting fixated on setting the ball out of the back court, and that's fine. It's very effective. They wouldn't be going there if it were not percentage-wise a good play to make, but I think it's hurt the middle attack. High set to Stoev. Soft block, chance for an American point to get to seven. Not yet. Set was low. And whacking away, Bozilov hits it out of bounds. Now it is 10 to seven. The Americans cut the deficit to three. United States working. Stoev is all over this play. Bozilov, I don't know about the timing of taking that choice. You got hitters like that all around you, and he hasn't swung at a ball or played all that much throughout the course of World League. Kravilov with his eighth kill. He also has two stuff blocks. Big guy, 6'6", 
They list him at 176 pounds. He is a walking string bean. Sorensen off speed, and it goes down. Boy, timing all messed up on that play. Sorensen, big tang time, just keeping the ball in play. Here comes Eric Sato, the E. He has had many looks in his career. Early on, ponytail. Then he had the shaved head. Now he's looking for the investment banker look. Stepping off. Stuffed. Ivy was on it. Here come the Americans. That's a bad set. Once again, this ball's just set way too tight. No room whatsoever for Stefanov on the outside. Here he comes again. He's got it. And he goes right over the top of Stimfig. Smart play that time. Get away from Ivy. It's okay to set the ball tight over the smaller blocker, but you still have to give your hitter some room to take a good solid swing at the ball. 10-8. United States has scored four in a row. Good pass. Left side. Blackman just out. The United States hurting itself with hitting errors. Hitting Off. the ball out. Very close call here. This ball rocketed. Yeah, that ball's out by a foot. In the green, it's out. 11 to 8. Bulgaria by 3. Good pass here. Go to Brian Ivy quick. Still going back out to Blackman. Works out okay. They're trying to work on that smaller outside blocker, I think, Bozilov, don't you think? Yeah, but you still got one. And Wouldn't you set Brian Ivy a quick set, one-on-one, -on -one, against just about anybody? Maybe. Stimfig with the serve. Stefanov. Sato. Wow, he missed it. Normally a dig Sato would make. And a good kill for Stefanov. There's Sato, one of the premier defensive players in the world. Bulgaria continues to lead by three. Sorensen. And getting away from the middle just a bit. The free loft again. I tell you, the coach's son is a good volleyball player. There's no nepotism yeah. involved here. A man to make Lubo Ganev get in shape eventually. Serve out of bounds. Good call by Sato. I tell you, other than Ganev's ability to serve the ball, Gravrilov is right there with him. Substitution. The starting center is back in. Nikolai Ivanov. Number 12. Out goes Bozilov. So, okay. ace. Bulgaria let it go, and it was on the line. Ivy gets the ace. With the floater tantalizing down the line. 9-12. Americans trying to catch up. Game three. Gavrilov. Wow, does he get up? Sato has the dig. Ivy. Stepping off. Stop. Bad set again. Whether it's Ivanov or Bojilev. Look at Sato. That's why he is one of the most exciting players in the world. 10-12. Combination play. And a beautiful one at that as Stefanov comes in. Let's check Mr. Stefanov. Eight kills and a couple of blocks. Number 13 wearing Pat Powers, former USA Stars old number. And now Jason Stimfig has that number. Ivy, a little tiptoe, Stefanov with the dig. That was a weird play. Jalaskov, he wasn't ready for that. Stoev set him a pipe, and Jalaskov said, don't set me there, you make me look like an idiot. Yeah, and his, you know, he's a goofy foot hitter, yeah. which it makes it really difficult for him to hit that ball in that situation. Duncan Blackman serving, game three. Shank pass, it's good. Got a score here. Sorensen, got it! What a boost for the Americans. If they could win this game, here come the big guns for Bulgaria. Again, Brian Ivey down and dirty, playing some good defense. Sorensen from the left side. Americans trying Tough to tie it up. Serve. They could tie it up right here. Cameron, yes! Sneaking it down the line and we're tied. 12-12 substitution. Here comes the captain, Dimo Tonev. Into the front line. One of the best blockers in the world trying to stem the tide. The Americans have come back from 10-4. Tonev has been out a long time. If Blackman can get a serve on him. He does. He shakes it over the pass. net. And the Americans score again. Timeout 
Bulgaria. California, where the United States is on fire. And a serving error. A 10-4 comeback. The Americans now lead 13-12. to Got to admire Blackman for going for it. It should have a saying on the USA national team, GFI, go for it. And another serving era, so both teams having some problems in the latter stages of yeah, game both, three. Both teams feeling the pressure a little bit right now. <laughs> the error is 27 for two teams. They'll go to Stefanov. He cross courts it, it's dug up. Got to go to Blackman, no, back set Sorensen, he's alone, he's blocked. Ivy, a great cover to save this play. Blackman, fabulous dig by Ozunov. Tough ball to hit. Another dig. America's looking for a point. Blackman, no! He's roofed. While well, Demo was there, big hands, Tonev. Too low, too tight. Tough chance. Boy, that's just a great block. That's a great play. That is a great play. Nobody did anything wrong. Just a fabulous play, and Demo Tonev. One of the best blockers in the world, shutting down Blackman on the outside. And Demo going with the float serve. Two men jumping, and Blackman is rejected. Beautiful block by the setter, Ivanov. 13-13. Where do you go if you're the Americans right now? Back outside? I go, no, I go to Ivy. When was the last time the ball was set quick in the middle? They're jumping two on Ivy. Not this time. They guessed right, and Blackman comes through and kills it. And with Luboganev on the bench, yeah, no where, worries. No big jump serve. Stepping off, second option. And you have to admire the job that the setter, Ivanov, is doing. He's mixing up the sets. He sets quick. He sets outside. There's Luboganev. And he may be done for the night. I, oh, I think I'd he like is. to see him try to warm up again. No way. It would take <laughs> a truckload of batteries to get Dave right now. He's had a good time. You'd have to vacation. send him to Jiffy Lube to get that motor running oh. again. Oh my goodness. Jiffy Lube. <laughs> Here's Duncan Blackman, 13 all. Even the ever ready bunny couldn't get him hopping around again. Trouble stepping off chase. He can't get there. The United States has 14. Third ace for Blackman. And now the Americans have game point. Nidenoff Knight comes back in. First game point for the Americans. What a comeback. This would climax. Americans looking for a block. Gabrilov got it through. Nice shot. This kid's going to be a big time player. Hey, he is a big time spot player right yeah. now. He's going to have a long, distinguished career. Bulgaria serving. And putting it through, Winslow, his weakest hit of the night, sneaks it, it through. through, and the Bulgarians lazy defensively down a game point. Somebody's got to be on that ball. Second game point, here comes Sorensen. Americans trying to take a two-to-one lead. Just out of bounds. Americans complaining. Let's yeah, take one more look. This ball was out, but not by much. Woo. Can't tell from that angle. That's how we, got, we had a pretty good look at it. That ball was out of bounds. Yep. Score remains 14-13. Here comes Ivy out of the back line, and he hits it out. Touch. And Ivy saying, wait, someone called it in. No, there was a touch on that play. The middle blocker for Bulgaria got a piece of that. Nobody saw it. 14 all. Critical game three. Another perfect pass. And another hit out of bounds. Three in a row for the Americans. Boy, there have been some big calls, missed calls, and no calls in the latter stages of this game. Bulgaria trying to wrap up game three. Bulgaria's first game point. Trouble. And that's it. The Americans blow one after yeah. a tremendous comeback. Played great volleyball and then just snapped. You got to dig in, forget the mistake, forget the no call, and side out. Bulgaria leads it two games to one when we return. The game stats after three. 
pretty big offensive numbers. Very, very close, as you might expect. It's been a well-played match. The United States working hard defensively. But once again, hitting errors for the United States. It cost them at the end of game three, 37 after three games. That is 20 too many. After three games, the name to know is Rico. Brian Ivey will serve for the United States. No score, just the start of game three. That should have been a throw, no call. There's too many bodies. That would have been uh, the Ivy sandwich right there. The United States getting down early in game one after, uh, game one, I'm thinking back to the game that they should have won to start this match in game four. Left side, wing, Cameron, Bulgaria has it. Gavrilov hits it out. A lot of hitting errors. I've never seen, well, yes, I have, but not lately. Now, this is ugly right now. Neither team can find the court, and the United States in particular, hitting so many balls out of bounds. And at crucial times, point scoring opportunities, four game points. Little off speed shot, no score. Out of the net. Another hitting error. Another nice rally by both teams. And people are looking for, see the floor vibrates. We're on a su suspended basketball floor and big guys land and the, you know, it it vibrates, looks like a violation. Gavrilov uh, looking for uh, some help from the umpire. Well, Did a, not get it. A coach's son and always looking for that advantage. One to nothing, soon to be 1-1. One, one. Tonev. I think the key to game three, Paul, Dimo Tonev got back into the match just in time for the Bulgarians, number six. Blocked a couple of balls, settled things down just a little bit. That was a key substitution by the Bulgarian coaching staff to get him back in the match. So the United States coming out looking very ragged here at the beginning of game four with the match on the line. They got to regroup here a little bit, regardless of how demoralized they have to be at losing that game. Americans had a fantastic comeback in game three, up 10-4, got ahead, had game point and could not put it away. Touch for Bulgaria. Two to one. Ludmil Nidenov back in the match, one of the starting outside hitters who, along with his brother Nidin Nidenov, had done such a good job. His brother was getting a lot of treatment to his back. We've probably seen the last of him. Yeah, probably suffered a back injury earlier on in this match. Tom Sorensen with the serve. He was very, very good in game three. Gavrilov hits it off the block, and now he will serve. We mentioned he has a sister uh, back in Bulgaria, son of the coach. She owns a sportswear store. I asked the coach, you're going to bring back some Levi's for her? She said, that would be nice. <laughs> Do a little shopping here. Some things never change. Levi's still popular. That ball out of bounds on the set. No timing there. Three to one, Bulgaria. Get the feeling the United States is going to get blown out here, Paul. Well, that would be a sad state of affairs. They lost a tough game, a couple of very close calls. But if nothing else, they're competitive and very competitive with a Bulgarian roster that's currently on the floor. Nice shot. Wow, a low, tight set. And the umpire saying, yes, you were under. Good point by Brian Ivey. Because there was a touch, the ball was in the air, and Gavrilov stepped under. Hell of a hit, though. The Argentinian umpire was trying to make the call, but Ivey was in his face so hard. The Argentinian, of course, doesn't speak the language. What kind a rep. Interesting combination. You've got Brian Ivey yelling in English to the Argentinian umpire who's being berated in Bulgarian by the bulgy front line. And the Portuguese referee <laughs> on top doesn't know what anybody's saying at this particular time, trying to act as a, an unbiased go-between. Three to two. Nice shot by Tom Sorensen. So the Americans rebound with a side out. Wow, the play of Bulgaria has gone way down. And the coaches uh, know it. Thinking his team already had one foot on the airplane and looking forward to the matches against Greece. Nice dig by Sorensen. His defense has improved a lot. 
He tried to off speed and Bulgaria hanging and waiting. Three, two, Bulgaria by one. Shank pass going to be a point, and it is. Number two, Ludmil Naidenov. You know, this is where Fred Sturm's hands are really tied. He's got so many injuries, you look down the bench, and there's just not too many players that he can bring in. Bob Samuelson is not here because of the knee injury. Dan Landry, who could play at the swing hitting position, is dressed but will not play tonight. Brent Hilliard's probably finished for the night. There you see number seven right there. There's the bench. Not too many healthy bodies. Let's make a point, too. Bob Samuelson is not allowed to sit on the bench because he is not uh, suited up. So if you're wondering where Samuelson is, he was here the other night. I wonder if he's here tonight, but he's certainly not allowed to sit on the bench. I think Let's that's a that stupid rule. I think that's stupid. Think so? Yeah. He's injured. He should be allowed to be with the team. Okay, maybe he can't sit right on the bench at courtside, but do it like they do in the NBA. Yeah. You see Poo Richardson and Scott Haskins for the Indiana Pacers. They're just one row behind. Let him be with the team. Beautiful block by Winslow, and the United States ties it up at four. Winslow has played well since he's been in. Did not play in game one. Big hit there. 4-4, four, four. game four. Bulgaria leads it. Two games to one. If you're one of the great players in the world, you can pick up some extra change if you're voted best all around, 14 grand, best attacker. Best blocker, best server, best setter, best defender, best receiver. And and obviously these positions are going to come from teams that do very, very well in the World League. So maybe your team wins a million dollars. The Federation gets their percentage. Maybe the team splits 80000 You know, players for this very sh relatively short two or three month season making over $100,000 if you're successful in this competition. 5-4. And Gavrilov punches it through. Nice shot. There he is. The big youngster, just 23 years old. And the quick set right there. Stimfik going back to the middle and going back to Poison Ivy. And here is Duncan Blackman to serve. His serve has been off and on. That one's in. And Winslow is there going on Ozunov. Yes, I can tell you it's 6-5, Bulgaria. Another strong serve, back set. Ivy, and it's going out of bounds. Substitution, coming back in. Petr Ozunov goes out, and here comes Nikolai Jalaskov. So a starter, 24-year-old middle blocker. Played for Fecci Abalona in Italy in the offseason. Sorensen, whoop! Wow. Wide enough denying. You can't block it any better than that. No, that's getting over the net. Watch Nidenoff. Big approach to the outside. We call that swing blocking. Yeah. Just like you're spiking, you move, use an approach to get to the outside. Here's Dwayne Cameron. You know, a lot of people teach blocking. You just shuffle out there and get over. Not internationally. They want you to get as high and take chances and get over the net. They teach it to be as aggressive blocking going after yeah. the ball as you are hitting. 7-5 to five is our score. Gavrilov, he hit it out. It touched the antenna. The United States gets a point. Americans are within one. Left side. And pounding is Ludmil Naidenov. Of course, Bulgaria, 40 years of communism until the wall came down back in uh, 1989. Some interesting uh, philosophy about that from the coaching staff. The back set, and Sorensen puts it away. Kind of interesting. Uh, the Bulgarian coaches were talking about that. They said for so long the, the government took care of the people. There was peace and no crime. Now we have freedom, but we have more problems. It's very difficult over in Bulgaria right now. Well, that was everything was thrown wide open. I mean, it's a huge adjustment to systems. What do you think if the United States next week was a communist nation? You don't think there would be a problems? They just turned the world upside down, or their world as they knew it. The Americans have tied it up. 7-7, seven, seven, game four. Bulgaria leads the match, however, two games to one. When 
I was blocking next to Steve Timmons on the USA team when we were playing, I wouldn't even jump. I just let him go. Get Steve, out of the way. I'll, I'll, I'll get out of the way and I'll, I'll clap after you block the ball. Same with Craig Buck. He said, Cy, don't jump. Don't jump. You hurt me. <laughs> you hurt me, baby. Pretty good dig. Americans. That's trouble. Blackman digs and scores. Duncan Blackman. Bulgaria is getting real lazy defensively. Blackman is in a world of trouble right here. There's no way he can hit this ball and still the Bulgarian defense is just a day late. Oh, and Winslow missed the easiest dig of his USA career. He was right there and he is mad. He is talking to himself. I'm sitting there waiting for it. And I messed it up. 8-7 USA. He's made some spectacular plays, however. One of the reasons the United States is in this match. Ivy have, Ivy's having a big night. He's getting the ball an awful lot more, more animated, and it's really helped his entire game by feeding him so much offensively. There goes Duncan Blackman. 8-7. Nice shot. Does Bulgaria seem sluggish to you? Yes. And you yes. know why? Because not only do they miss Lubo hitting and serving, they miss his emotions. His personality. He's the guy. Yeah. The personality of that guy drives this Bulgarian team. They're dead in the water without him. Okay, There's a is, nice block. He is their man with charisma. Dimo yeah. Tonev, Stefanov, they're all great players, but he is the magic man of Bulgarian volleyball. I still think the Bulgarian coaches think they've got it in the bag. That's why they're not warming up Lubo. Nice put away there. Bulgaria gets a lead. There have been four ties in this game. Fred Sturm's Americans trailing by one. Nice set, poked up. Even off left side, and Knight and off crushes it. Where's he going? He's going down the middle. And Bulgaria, now a timeout call, and the Bulgies are fired up once again. 10-8 here in game four. Play. It got the Americans back into the match. And the play is get Brian Ivey involved. And particularly when Jason Stimfig came in for Dan Greenbaum setting the ball. He says, hey, number five, where are you? I'm going to get you the ball. We're going to ride you back into this match here on the pipe. Brian Ivey out of the backcourt, hammering off three big Bulgarian blockers. Our supercut spotlight play. How do you want your hair cut? And here we are in game four. It's 10 to 8 Bulgaria. That's bad set. And it's into the net. The United States will look back to this match if they lose and think we blew it in game three. Still, Bulgaria has a two games to one lead. Stimfig played well. Dan Greenbob coming back in. Fred Sturm, the American coach, uh, trying to make a change that will pay off Bulgaria. Four points away from another victory over the United States. Sorensen got it. You like bringing Greenbaum back here now? Well, I think Fred Sturm had to do something. The, the team was just going down fast. Bulgaria was getting some confidence back, and you need to change the feel out there. I, I think it was a pretty good move. Now Rogers with a warm-up jump serve. Little spinner. Left side. Stuffed! Greenbaum stuffs Nidenoff. And talks to him. Now the substitution looks pretty good. Greenbaum. Greenbaum's pretty cocky, isn't he? I like him. Yeah. Here's Dexter Rogers again. 11 to 9. And he's into the net. So Roger is trying to pick up the United States. Game four, Bulgaria leading two games to one. You know, a lot of this is game management. A lot of it. You know, you got to keep that serve in. Serve tough, fine, but you got to find a way to keep it in the court. Bulgaria is having some problems. You Next just set. scored. Cameron Stefanov runs it down. Chance for a Bulgarian point. Bad set. And down the hatch goes Nidenov. He must be facing line and then hitting it through the hole in the block because they're going straight down. Right, but the way he's facing, if Greenbaum chases him out to exactly. the line, you can't chase him because if he hits the ball down the line, it's six feet out of bounds. Cover, cover. Ivy out of the back line, and he puts it away. Scoreboard reads 12 to 9, Bulgaria. 
Ivy, 25 kills and eight blocks. He has risen to the challenge. Tonev is blocked. Ivy was there. And they're on his angle. Two American blockers with Tonev in perfect position. You can see again his shoulder. Watch Tonev coming for Bulgaria. Watch, he jumps with his shoulder to the net. He's going to go in that same direction. They'll set him again. Nope, they don't. Left side, Nidenoff. And he's over the top and down. Ludmil Nidenoff of the Nidenoff clan. Shank pass ace for Nidenoff. Thirteen to ten. Bulgaria two points away now. Green bomb left side. Ivy. No, it did not clear. Unforced error once again. How many times has the United States hit a ball out of bounds into the net at exactly the wrong time? Champion point for Bulgaria. Rogers, Rocket, score it. Boy, that's an interesting setting choice to your back row sub who's just come in and served a couple of jump serves. Ozilov, number 15, comes in as a defensive substitute. Ivanov is still in as the setter. And straight down, big hit. And Jalaskov loves it. Champion point number three. That could do it. No, save. Bulgaria with a chance right here. And that will do it. So Bulgaria, after winning key game number three, and their fans are happy, the United States loses its eighth consecutive match. The final Rico copier and fax match stats. Boy, very close. Uh, tough three games to one loss for the United States. Bulgaria, you know, not doing a great job themselves. Overall, pretty sluggish match. But once again, hitting errors. 43 hitting errors in four games. The Bulgarians, not all that much better. But again, the big players coming in on time for Bulgaria and the United States making too many mistakes. The final stats. Of course, the name to know is Rico. Our Bud Light player of the match, middle blocker for Bulgaria, number 16, Mo Tonev. Modest numbers, 10 kills and three blocks, but he came back in in game three and turned it back around for Bulgaria. The yeah, maybe, game. maybe the Bulgarian coach is the MVP. He took out Dimo Tonev, who had a pretty off night, pretty sluggish in the beginning, but brought him back in at the crucial juncture in game three to turn the match around. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down, make it a Bud Light. So Bulgaria wins it on this match point. Bulgaria now goes to five and three in World League. The United States still winless. The Americans have now lost eight matches in a row, although they did play better. They played better, more spirited play. Jason Stimfig came in. I thought Brent Winslow and Brian Ivey. This is the best match I've seen him play in a while because he got the ball a lot more, was much more involved. Once again, the final score, Bulgaria defeats the United States in San Diego, California. Three games to one for Paul Sunderland. I'm Chris Marlowe. Good night. This World League Volleyball match has been brought to you by Champion, proud to be the official outfitter of the 1996 U.S. Men's and Women's Olympic Volleyball teams. It takes a little more to make a champion. And by Rico, the